Your name is Harris? Dion. You, what's your address where you're currently living? Boston. And you? Same. When did you move in there? November 1st. When did you move in there? November 1st. Where did you live prior to that? Street. Where do you live? Street. Did you ever live at Street? Yeah. You did. When? From when to when? November... Of 2016? Of 2016. Okay, well, just a second. Okay. I thought you were at number... in November of 2016. Uh, Don't... Um, huh? I'm sorry. Don't think about interrupting. Do you understand? Don't think about interrupting. Do you understand? Yes. Perfect. Give me the date. I'm going to let you think about it now. Okay. We're not talking about so long ago. Yeah. Give me the dates that you lived with Miss Barrios. It was around September, October of 2016. Did you pay her rent? Mm -mm. How long have you known her? Our, her kids, they're like pretty cool together, so that's how we became cool, because through the kids. So she invited you, the two of you who lost your apartment to come and live with her? Mm-hmm. And you lived with her until November? Until we found our apartment, yes. On October 2nd of 2016, did you take Miss Barris's car? Yes. When did you take her car? In the morning. Where did you go? To drop my girlfriend off at work. Did you have a driver's license? No, ma'am. What were you doing driving a car? Um, my girl needed to get to work. She drove to work, I just drove after drove it home. Did you have a bad night? I worked doubles two nights in a row. And then that... How were you getting to work? Bus. Why can't she take the bus to work? Because I, I guess where she worked, there was, there's no buses that go over that way. You fell asleep on the way coming home. Mm-hmm. And amongst other things, you hit a pole, a mm -hmm. Verizon pole. Mm-hmm. Caused substantial damage. Miss Barrios got her car fixed some... No. Never got your car Never fixed? Never got car fixed. Was it totaled? It was totaled. And now she's stuck with the Verizon bill for the pole, which is how much? $4,261.25. You have a police report? I do. I'd like to take a look at it. What? What happened to the damage to the house? Um, I never got any word from anyone about the house, um, so I'm assuming their insurance covered that. The only bill I got was from Verizon. Do you have any reason to tell me, sir, why you're not responsible for this Verizon bill? Because in actuality, she was supposed to take her to work. You weren't supposed to be driving a car, you had no license, mm -hmm. and you fell asleep behind the wheel, which is your fault. So explain to me why you're not responsible for this Verizon bill. Because uh, if she had gotten up and took and taken her to work, which she said she was going to do. Just a second. So let me understand this, Mr. Harris. Your defense to this is you were forced to drive illegally while you were tired because your girlfriend had to get to work and the plaintiff, in whose house you were freeloading with your girlfriend, she didn't get up to drive your girlfriend to work. This is your defense. When she had said that she would... And when she had said she would take her to work. Mm -hmm. This is your defense. Yeah. This is your defense. All right. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $4,261. We're done. 